What up, y'all? It's KP, the sports chick. So, what up with Carolina and Denver? Two Super Bowl teams. Obviously, Denver won the Super Bowl, but um, they're not. They're both going in different directions going into the end of the first quarter of the season. So, let's discuss. Um, Denver is four zero. Carolina is one and three. And as of this recording. Cam Newton just went out on a concussion and it was another hard hit that wasn't called and that's a whole other discussion but having said that again Denver is 4-0 and and we have to keep in mind here Carolina has most of their players that came back from last year with the exception of a few notables um, like Josh Norman mainly because of his mouth but for the most part you know, most of the players are back. And the same thing with Denver as well. Most of their players have come back, but the major, major change was the starting quarterback situation. Actually, the combat, the quarterback combo uh, in general um, has changed. Like, I mean, you had Peyton Manning, Brock Osweiler last year. And now you've got uh, Simeon and you got Paxton Lynch, who is going to be starting next week incidentally because Simeon is hurt um, so as of right now he's probably not going to be playing week five um, but if you ask me the Simeon Lynch matchup is is better than the Manning Osweiler one they've been if you look at the stats look at the stats look at the stats look at the stats from last year with Peyton Manning and Osweiler and the stats with uh, Paxton Lynch and, and um, Simeon and you'll see that that this year's current duo is better. And so Simeon was playing lights out until he got injured. And let me tell you, I have on my fantasy team, I've got my quarterbacks is Roethlisberger, awesome. And uh, Aaron Rodgers, also awesome. But week four Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers are on by so I picked up Simeon and he was doing awesome and who would have thought I would pick up Simeon and but I did and he was doing well he gave me six points in the first quarter and then you know he left before half the game was over so that that sucked but I say that to say you know Simeon is a legit quarterback right now I'm not saying he's one of the best but he's definitely better than okay um, but like I said, they, Denver has brought back a lot of the same players. The quarterback situation um, is better. The pass defense is still intact and actually is better than last year. Um, that is a stifling, frightening defense. And um, they, they've had an easy schedule as well compared to Carolina as far as why they're 4-0. They played uh, Carolina, obviously. The Bucks, the Bengals, and the Colts. So those were good, easy wins. Not easy, but you know, wins. Good, good. Like okay, I think we can. They're not hard, difficult. You know, I'm playing the Patriot of Green Bay. You know, type of wins, or even Oakland for that matter. Um. So I think that is 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 a is a big part of the why the reason why Denver is doing so well. And then on the flip side with Carolina, why they're doing so poorly. First of all, I don't think Cam Newton is clicking right now this year at all. Something is happening and he's not he's not productive. He's not playing well. Something's up. And like I said, as of this recording, he had to leave the game uh, in week four uh, for concussion protocol because he was concussed. And the hit that he got was not called. But at the same time, the hit was a preventable hit. Um, he cannot be diving in for plays like that when you're the quarterback. I mean, I know you want to make big plays and sacrifice your body, but you got a life after football. You have a child and, and, and like, a relationship and family who love you, like, as you are. You, you know, I'm sorry, but they don't want you to turn into – your, your brain to turn into mush because you want to make that extra three yards. Like, no. I need somebody to talk some sense in him when it comes to that. Secondary is struggling. You know, Josh Norman is having a field day with this right now. 
you know, he said, he said just today, uh, and he's uh, on uh, the Dan Lebitard show on ESPN radio that you get what you pay for. <laughs> he is loving it. He's eating it up. But the secondary is struggling this season at, at through four games. Um, they have a more difficult schedule than the Broncos as well. They played, you know, obviously they played the Broncos, Vikings, and the Falcons. And, you know, they, the, the Falcons showed up, you know, when they played them. And the Falcons are doing okay this year so far. Like I said, through the first quarter of the season, not so bad. Um, so mainly because of their schedules, but also because, the quarterback situation. So you got to compare the quarterback situation. So Cam Newton's not playing so well. He's probably not going to be playing in week five. Um, Derek Anderson will probably get the start, which is the backup quarterback for Carolina. And the quarterback situation is the key right now. And it's essentially the fact that the, the Paxton Lynch uh, Simeon matchup is better than the Cam Newton Derek Anderson situation, point blank period. And the fact that Cam Newton is not playing at, at his at his um, peak like he was last year, it's like night and day. I don't know what's happening there, but they have to get it together because of, as of right now, as far as percentages go, they have a 32% chance of making the playoffs right now, which is a little sad considering where they were this time a year ago. So um, my stance on... Denver and Carolina through the first quarter of the season. I'm going to be following them throughout the season quarterly, uh, giving updates as far as their progress because it, it's it's interesting to me how, you know, Denver lost their franchise player uh, due to retirement and, and are still just chugging along. Meanwhile, Carolina has its franchise player and are struggling, it seems. So there has to be some players only meeting, some coaching, uh, shake up something needs to happen over in Carolina uh, in order for them to salvage the rest of the season uh, really so if you got anything to say about it hit me up kpthesportschick.com that's my sports hub for everything KP Sports Chick related um, my social media links are there and so much more and then um, you can leave comments at, at YouTube at kpthesportschick as well so check me out